I'm going to the mall. My best friend is getting married next weekend and I don't have a suit. So I need to go to the mall today and I'm gonna get fitted for a suit. Hopefully they have something in my size. Can't decide if I'm gonna get a black suit or a gray suit. If you've seen any of my videos, you know my wardrobe is pretty simple. Usually just wearing a black t-shirt and black shorts. I figured that probably would not be appropriate for this wedding. Also, if you know anything about me, I really hate spending money. I'm not super thrilled about buying this suit today, but I gotta look fresh for this wedding. So let's go to the mall. Okay, note to self, one, don't go to the mall on a Saturday, two, don't go to the mall when it's raining, and three, don't wait until the last minute to try to get a suit for a wedding, especially whenever you're not a normal size. So that was kind of a disaster. It took and about two hours. Two hours and nobody. And my jacket and my pants need to be special ordered and then they need to be tailored. So my wedding is in one week. Hopefully they express ship on Tuesday, get them tailored on Wednesday, pick them up on Thursday, drive to the wedding on Friday. That's a tight timeline. My wife told me not to wait until the last minute to get this. I didn't think it would be a big deal. Apparently it is. So note to self for the future, note to you, if you're thinking about getting a suit, do it like two or three weeks in advance and stay away from the mall on Saturday when it's raining. If you know anything about me, I absolutely hate the rain, cannot stand it. I will run every single chance I get, but let me tell you a couple things that I've, I've been thinking about. So first of all, yes, I just launched a course and four people have bought it already. Cannot believe that. So super stoked. I hope those four people are able to launch their bookkeeping business. So if you don't know, I have a bookkeeping business. I love teaching people. So now I'm teaching people how to start their own bookkeeping business through my course. Honestly, the goal is not to make money. So many people asked me to make this course. So I decided to make the course. I hope it helps you. I put 10 hours of content into this course. The link is in the description. Okay, enough of that. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I try to be transparent, honest, and genuine with you. So let me give you one tip. If you're thinking about starting a bookkeeping business, or honestly, any business for that matter, let me just tell you, there is no get rich quick scheme. You're not gonna get rich quick, but if you work super, super hard, you can be successful. So here's what I did. The first four months, I kept my full-time job with my bookkeeping business. And I got like one or two clients each month for the first four months. So you're not gonna make $6,000 in your first month as a bookkeeping business owner or probably as any business owner. It's just not gonna happen. But if you keep working one year later, two years later, you might get there. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Just keep working hard if you're trying to start your own bookkeeping business. Never give up. 
Just be consistent. Daddy, All right, baby, I'll get you a donut. I gotta go. Cold. Last thing I wanna say, I love donuts. There is one really cool thing about being a bookkeeping business owner is I know a lot about business in general, but more specifically bookkeeping and taxes. So anytime one of my friends decides to start a business, naturally they reach out to me. So I help them and I usually do it for free. Like I have a couple friends who I'm honestly doing all of their bookkeeping. They have really small businesses, so it's really not that much work. But I have another friend who just met with me for one hour and I gave him like some bookkeeping tips and some tax tips and he sent me this, this cool quarter zip. How cool is that? Got a free quarter zip. This thing probably costs like 70 bucks. His company is Shoreline Brands and he sells like boat attachments, like a sunscreen on the top of his boat. I don't really know. It's a really cool business, but I got this cool quarter zip. And plus, I just love helping my friends, sharing my knowledge. Like, I don't need the 50 or 100 bucks I would charge them for a one hour consultation. And then another one of my friends sent me this dope sweatshirt. How cool is this sweatshirt? Look at that awesome design. I think, I don't, I don't know how he prints these, but I've been helping him with his bookkeeping and just like kind of giving him some tips. And he's like, hey, let me throw you a sweatshirt. And I'm like, dude, thank you for the free sweatshirts, guys. So that's cool, helping out your friends, them giving you some free merch, it's awesome. I love being a small business owner. I love helping other small business owners. We got like a cool little tight-knit community. Okay, I'm in a really big hurry because I told my wife that I was coming to my office just to ride my bike and I promise that's what I'm doing, but I have two things I need to talk about really quickly. First of all, I don't know if you can see this, this marker doesn't work, it's not good. Okay, let's try this one. Let me just talk about three things real quick. Hopefully you can see this. Alcohol. A year ago, I quit drinking. I haven't quit forever, but October 31st of 2022 was the last time I drank alcohol. It's not like I had a crazy problem or anything. I just felt like it was holding me back. And 2X, my business has grown since I quit drinking. I don't know if that's just because... My business is three years old now, so naturally it's just gonna grow. Or if it's because I quit drinking, or maybe it's a little bit of both, but I literally my business has doubled since I stopped drinking. Now, that brings me to the other point is, I'm gonna say the word passion. And that's it, passion. So I have worked harder in this past year than I ever had before, ever in my entire life, and that's because I'm passionate about my bookkeeping business. I was in the army, I worked at Chewy, I worked at Amazon. I've never been passionate about my job or my career like I am right now, and it has enabled me to work harder than ever. So the reason I say that, if you're thinking about making a career move or going back to school, getting an education, starting a business, do it. If you're gonna be passionate about it, don't do it to try to make money. Now, one other thing, a couple other things. Let me show you. I love exercising. So I have become obsessed with exercising. This bike has been pretty crucial. Now let me talk about, let me just keep it real real quick. I'm struggling to like get any traction on my Instagram. I don't know what it is. My Instagram is horrible. I have like 400 followers. I don't know. I post content on Instagram every single day. I love my Facebook. So for whatever reason, Facebook gets like a hundred likes on a lot of my posts and on Instagram, I get like 10 likes. I don't know what to do. So if you guys have any tips for me and my Instagram, please leave me a comment in this video. I'd love to hear your tips. Now, the last thing I want to say, so I'm struggling with Instagram, my marketing strategy in general, let me give you guys a couple tips. So up until like April or May of this year, I was strictly posting bookkeeping tips, like super dry, super boring. Like, hey, Harrisburg bookkeeping tip of the day. Remember to get a W-9 from all of your independent contractors. Harrisburg bookkeeping tip of the day. Remember to file your sales tax quarterly. I was posting, that was my marketing strategy. Every day, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, real quick video, Harrisburg bookkeeping tip of the day. That was pretty much it. However, I recently got the idea to make things a little bit more personal. 
Like I want to kind of build a personal brand on social media and I have no idea if it's going to pay off. I don't know if it's going to work, but I've started posting on my Facebook a lot more personal stuff, like stuff about my kids, stuff about my workouts, random, like random quotes and random like tweets almost about like, silly things that I'm doing in my life. And I'm just trying to be more personal on social media. Hopefully that turns into more bookkeeping clients. Hopefully I build my personal brand. I have no idea, but I'm out of time. I wanted to share my thoughts real quick. I'm here at my office for like 30 minutes so that I can work out really quick. That's one other thing. If you are on the fence about getting an office outside of your house, especially if you have a ton of kids, get an office. It's just a great space for you to like have your own thing and like do your own thing. But with that being said, I gotta work out. I'll talk to you later. Six hours later and now it's nighttime. And yes, I am outside because if I can be honest with you, I'm still a little bit self-conscious. I don't really want to record this video in front of my wife. That might be embarrassing, but that is the truth. So I'm outside, a little privacy, recording the last video of the day. It's been like six hours since we talked last and we just went over to one of our friends house for the first time and let me just tell you these people are amazing people beautiful house we had a great time with them they are the type of people who we want to spend more time with really good people really positive influence in our lives in the past we've had some friendships that were not super uplifting or very positive we're trying to get rid of the negative relationships in our lives we want to hang out with more people who are where we wanna be, more positive influences on our life. So overall, we had a fantastic evening. We took all the kids over to a friend's house, ate dinner with them, hung out with them. It was an awesome experience. So if you guys have some negative relationships in your life, I'd encourage you, move on from them and try to find people who are more positive influences on your life. It's really, made a huge difference in our lives and I feel like it's only going to get better from here. So that's the end of this video. I'm going to try to make more of these videos kind of documenting my everyday life because honestly I enjoy doing it. I think it'd be really cool if I have more of these videos to look back on. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.